Greetings, YouTube and fellow traditionalist Catholics. This is Sergio Becerra II, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're continuing with the Gospel of St. Matthew. And today we're going to be covering chapter 9, verse 32 through 36. So, let us go ahead and read these verses, and I'll get into the explanation, which shouldn't be too difficult for this one. So, let's read along. And when they were gone out, behold, they brought him a dumb man, possessed with a devil. And after the devil was cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the multitudes wondered, saying, Never was like the scene in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the prince of devils, he casteth out devils. And Jesus went about all the cities and towns, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every infirmity. And seeing the multitudes, he had compassion on them because they were distressed and lying like sheep that have no shepherd. So here, this is where we see Jesus cast a demon out of someone that has possessed his body. A dumb man. Um, honestly, when they say a dumb man, I'm, I'm assuming someone that is completely ignorant. Not all up there. But Jesus heals this man. Uh, by getting rid of the devil out, getting rid of getting rid of uh, a demon out of someone. So this is where we see Jesus perform an exorcist. Is the way I see it. Jesus did have the power to cast out demons out of someone that were completely possessed by the devil or by any evil entity that has possessed someone. And then we see that also in verse thirty-five. He goes into cities and towns, teaching in Jewish synagogues the gospel of the kingdom of heaven and, and healing people wherever he went. So, so this is where we see, once again, um, Jesus actually performing another miracle, which is exorcism, first ever by the Son of God. To cast out a, a devil, a, casting out a devil that has possessed someone that which the um uh, which this which these verses says these verses have said a dumb man. So now we know about um about the meaning of uh exorcisms because uh we've heard stories about exorcisms. I know there have been movies about um, exorcisms, the exorcist, we're all part of, because there already have been a couple of exorcist movies I've already seen since last year. So here we are. <clears throat> so we've seen within the, within the church itself, uh, with the uh, training and with the training and how to get a demon out of someone that is that has been corrupted and possessed by by a demon, and that a priest or any that a priest or anyone within the church what, that has the power to cast out these demons out of someone's body. However, for that to happen, they need approval from the Vatican in order to get a demon out of someone. So, the way I've seen it, a priest would have holy water, a crucifix, but they would use a crucifix with the medal of St. Ben Benedict in the middle of, of that cross, and even the St. Benedict's uh, seal, which is the, the St. Benedict medal seal, 
which is another but there's another uh tool that in order to help someone get that demon out of out of that person's body and like i said uh i've seen some of the exorcist videos i mean movies well same thing i'm pretty sure some of you have and how an exorcist is performed and i'm and i'm pretty sure there are videos out there online showing people literally possessed by the devil and and how priests handle this situation so chapter 9 verses 32 to 36 does talk about the first ever exorcist being performed by jesus getting a devil out of someone that has been possessed. So there you have it, where we see Jesus actually performing the very first exorcist on someone, getting a devil out by with his own power, by his own hand. So sorry for talking a little slow. I know I've been apologizing a lot. On just about most of my videos that um, I have a bit of a speech problem and that I've been up early every morning a lot uh, just to cover these verses I apologize so tell me what you think in the comments below hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and tell me what you think in the comments below all right this covers uh, this chapter in the Gospel of Matthew and I will be covering more so Take care now. Have a blessed day. Bye.